we're at the entrance of the Rubicon, one of my favorite trails ever. Uh, we're at Loon Lake over at the dam. We just got done here and down, locking up our hubs. And um, we're ready to go um, spend some rubber on some granite out here and have a great time. Uh, really looking forward to it. Uh, this is uh, first time for Hideous, first time for the Monstera, first time for Zaid wheeling on his own out here on the Rubicon, you know, so uh, yeah, lots of firsts, lots of, uh, eh, not too many ifs, but should be a good time regardless. So yeah, looking forward to it, guys. Stay tuned.
did a Dirty Dozen campground uh, as part of the Rubicon Springs. We, we drove all the way through, uh, had a great day, no no real major problems or anything, a couple dings and dents, but that's, uh, that's something to be expected out here. Um, just enjoying a cold beverage, MREs, some pound cake from the MREs, but it was a great day. Um, like I said, just making it all the way out to Rubicon Springs. Be an easy day out tomorrow. We'll just got to go up Cadillac Hill and uh, and on out of here. So usually I stop at Buck Island and we rest there because it takes all day to get there. But this trip went so well. We made it in by like 2:30, just taking our time and got a little camp spot figured out here and a nice fire going. So we'll see uh, we'll see you guys in the morning how it goes. Sunday morning here on uh, Rubicon Trail and it's raining. We're uh, still early, probably 6 30, 7 o'clock. Uh, rain's been on us all night, so we're packing up, put down our little gypsy tent there, got our tent cots packed up. So, uh, yeah, we're just warming up the vehicles and, and we're going to be heading out here pretty quick. So we made it up Cadillac Hill, we're at Observation Point. We didn't really film anything because it's raining and the camera lens kept getting fogged up. As you can see, there's not much to observe because of uh, all the uh, overcast from the weather. But made it interesting coming up the hill. They're a little, little slicker than normal, but uh, no problems. And um, yeah, the rest from here sh should be just a breeze to get around. It's been real fun and uh, we'll Give you an update here as soon as we get uh, at the uh, parking lot at the end of the trail where we are up and then we'll give you a little final. And you probably thought that was the end, but it's not. Uh, right after we filmed that last segment, as we were, Joe and I were coming back down the hill in the rain, and I don't know if we mentioned we had no wipers the whole time, so that was fun. Um, but it was the last thing on our mind, really. We were more concerned about Zaid and, and Michael. Um, Joe got a phone call that it had stopped raining there long enough, and the guys backed the truck in under a little shelter thing that they have there at the parking spot. And with like a couple, with like a pair of pliers, some channel locks, and a stubby screwdriver they borrowed, they dropped the fuel tank, found a ground wire on the fuel pump, had popped off, and got it hooked back up, got the tank back in. As soon as uh, we had got here at the house and could have hopped in the Super Duty to go get them, they had called, Michael had called and said, we're on the road. And sure enough, a couple hours later, they came rolling in. So 
Um, pretty exciting little ending there. Like I said, it, it was everything was going so great, and we were there, and then all of a sudden, poof, you know, that's how fast your, your day can go from really good to like, oh, man. But it was still a really great time. We've got back, got camping gear all opened up, drying back there. We've got over the damage on both vehicles. Uh, Zade's got some body damage uh, front and on his uh, driver quarter and hideous. Uh, after looking it over, we tagged both um, rear fender wells a little bit. No big deal there. Front fender got a little hit. Um, biggest issue is the tie rod has a frown in it now. Uh, I noticed my wheel was a little bit off, so the tie rod got a little bent. N no big deal. I'll probably just compensate for that a little bit and just leave it frowning. And um, the sp spring bushings are getting eaten up again on the front. I've been having problems with eating the crap out of bushings and looks like um, it's due for another change in so I'll have to go back to the uh, do some homework on that and figure out what's going on there but anyways got trucks for back at the R&D Center IHPA and we'll you know aside from that kind of get them ready to head back out this July 4th weekend uh, we will be there for Cantina for the Con it's a fundraiser and tacos it'll be at Rob's Resort off uh, Ice House Reservoir Road so if you're gonna be in the area come on out support the Rubicon Trail We'll be there showcasing these two vehicles, and then hopefully later on that night, out on Saturday, we're gonna head out for the trail and, and go camp out somewhere. So um, again, thanks for watching our video, and that was what happened at the end, and we'll see you next time.